Hello, this is Xin Ru. In this video, I'm going to take a look at the question in today's weekly contest on LeetCode. This is a question that I spend uh, roughly 30 minutes trying to figure out how to solve it, but eventually I failed. So I'm going to review this question and uh, what went wrong in my thinking process. So first, it's a very and straightforward question. As you can see, so basically it's given three values. This three value means the stock we have for three characters A, B, and C. And uh, we need to use those um, three characters to form a, a string. This string has to be as long as possible and it has to be happy. So what is happy string? is that um, a string that doesn't contain triple A, triple B, or triple C. So the string has to be happy and has to be the longest as possible. And uh, it can only contain A, B, and C letters. So what we can do is we can first create a hash map that has character, stock, and a frequency. So the frequency so it's easy to understand character and stock, but uh, difficult to understand frequency. The, the frequency means the frequency of the, the numbers, of the, the frequency of the last number should not uh, be bigger than 2, because a happy string cannot contain triple A, triple B, and triple C. So what we can do is we can, because in JavaScript, there is no, and in JavaScript, there is hash map and there is object, and there is no way to, to sort a hash map or an object based on a value. So what we will do is we will use a, um, we will use a nested uh, um, array to represent a hash map. So what you can see is we create an array and in this array we have the character value and the stock value and the frequency. And the frequency is always zero. So we create this array but this array um, is used as a hash map. But we can we can sort an array based on a specific value. In this case, we want to sort the array based on the stock. So what we are going to do, we are going to sort the array based on the stock. What are, what are other values we need? We need the result string and we need the last string. So, so the last string will always uh, record the, the last character we append to the result string. The reason why we use that is because we need to use the last string to, to renew our frequency because the only last number's frequency that is important for us to solve the question. So, and what we also need, apart from the result and the last string, is another value, which we can we can define later. So what we need to do is we we use a while loop, as long as the result dot length is less than Actually, we can put this variable as count. So the count is a plus b plus c, which is the the total number of a and b and c. Um, but ideally, that uh, uh, our string will reach that uh, length, but not necessarily. For example, in example one, we can see we have um, 
we have nine characters in total, but uh, in the output we only have eight characters. Therefore, it's not guaranteed for the result string to reach the the total number of a, b, and c. Therefore, but in this while loop, we are going to keep keep the while loop going as because we can always return the result string in the middle of the while loop when all the conditions are met. So what we are going to do is as long as result string results length is less than count, this while loop will keep going and uh, so what we will do is in this while loop first we will have to renew we will have to renew the frequency. So how are we going to do that? Is we going to traverse through the numbers, traverse through three numbers in our array, and if arrays i and uh, and uh, the first number, so which means. We, we traverse through the, the array, our array, and find out the character and retrieve the character. If the character is not equal to the last number, then we have to renew the frequency to zero. So what we are going to do is we will renew the frequency to zero. And this part is what we call renew frequency. So after renew the frequency, then we have to find out what number that what number that uh, is is the. So we we have to figure out what number is. I and uh, we need to figure out what number's frequency is not reach the maximum frequency. So for example, in this case, we first look at the frequency and if the frequency reaches the maximum, which is 2, we will see and we will we will continue increment i and after this for loop the i will be the number that the the frequency is less than 2 so we can um, use a if statement to figure out if the frequencies if the quantity of the this character if the quantity of this character is is bigger than 0 so basically we're trying to figure out it do we have enough stock for this kind of character? So, so what we do when we have enough, then what we do is we will append this array into our result and we will set our last number at this character and uh, and what we also need to do is we also need to decrement over de decrement over quantity and increment over frequency as this is the last number. And uh, after this, if the number doesn't exist, now we simply just return. Oh, so after we did some manipulation. In this array, what we need to do is we need to sort this array again. So what we will do is we will sort the array in a non-increasing order. So we sort this array in a non-increasing order, and then what we will do is we will return result if this such array doesn't exist. And then after the while loop, this is the condition that the result dot length will definitely less than count. And 
if it happens to be we can use all the characters we have, then we will we will just return the result outside of the while loop, and that will be our answer as well.